all right today we are going to do number system now before starting with the practical let me give you a quick review of what are the different types of number we are going to learn in this chapter the first is natural number now the numbers which we use for counting counting numbers are called natural numbers normally if we start counting we start counting with 1 2 3 4 we don't say 0 1 2 we say 1 2 3 4 so counting numbers are called natural numbers it starts from 1 2 3 and goes on till infinity so what are natural numbers numbers starting from 1 to infinity then the next is whole number now whole number starts with 0 and continues with the same thing which we did above 1 2 3 4 so whole number starts with 0 and goes on till infinity numbers starting from 0 to infinity then after whole number the next thing will be integer now integers are the negative numbers 0 and then what we did above 0 and positive numbers so this can be written as 0 1 2 3 goes on till infinity and also includes minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and goes till minus infinity so these are integers then the next thing will be after integers we have rational number rational numbers are those numbers which can be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are integers integers means negative positive or zero anything but q should not be equal to zero q is not equal to zero the denominator should not be zero it can be any number and it should be in the form of p by q numerator and denominator that means it should be in the fractional form we can also call rational number as fractions then next is irrational number irrational number those numbers which cannot be expressed in the form of p by q which cannot be in the form of p by q now after having the basic idea of all these five types of number we can start with the practical the first practical thing which we are going to do here is finding rational number between rational numbers now how to do this you see we can start by find five rational numbers between three and four now remember we can find as many rational numbers between two rational number but here they are asking you five and this is the simplest form of question two types of question we shall we will be having here here one question will be with the same denominator and one with the different denominator in this question we have the same denominator you see if we write only three that means three has a denominator one and four has a denominator one we can write it as three by one and four by one here you are asked to find out five rational numbers so you will multiply with a bigger number bigger than five we will multiply with six both numerators and denominators and in both the cases three six are eighteen and one six are six four six are 24 and 1 6 are 6 now between 18 and 24 we have the five required numbers therefore the required numbers are the required numbers are after between 18 and 24 is 19 then 20 then 21 then 22 and 23 by 6 these are the required numbers now in case you have two rational number with different denominators say like you are asked to find out find 10 rational number between 3 by 5 and 2 by 
3. Suppose this is the question. Denominators are different in this case. 3 by 5 and 2 by 3. Now how to solve this question? First of all, we need to make the denominator same. We'll take the two numbers. 3 by 5 and 2 by 3. Take LCM of the denominators. The two denominators are 5 and 3. Nothing is common. So we'll simply multiply 5 and 3. 5 3s are 15. Now we will make the denominators 15 in both the cases. Here we will make it 15 and here also we will make it 15. Now see what did we multiply with 5 to make it 15. We have multiplied 3 with the numerator also we will multiply 3 and with 3 we have multiplied 5 to make it 15. Here also you will multiply 5. Now if we multiply 3 3s are 9 and 2 5s are 10. Between 9 and 10 we need to find out 10 rational numbers. Now do we have 10 numbers between 9 and 10? No, we don't have. So we will find out by multiplying following the same process which we followed earlier. Now you are asked to find out 10 rational numbers so you multiply with a bigger number bigger than 10. A number bigger than 10 is 11. With the numerator as well as denominator you will multiply 11. 9 with 11 you will get 99. Then 15 into 11 will give you 165. Then 10 into 11 will give you 110 and 15 into 11 will give you 165. Now between 99 and 110 we have the required 10 numbers so therefore the required numbers are after 99 comes 100 then 101 by 165 102 by 165 like this we can write down all the 10 rational numbers. So this becomes the answer. The last will be 110. So 109 by 165. 10 numbers will be in between. Now in some cases you might get more than 10. But if they ask you only 10, no need to write everything. You write down only 10 and then you stop. <coughs> Alright, the next thing which we have in this chapter is representing a non-terminating repeating decimal in the form of P by Q. Now how to do that, you see represent in the form of p by q and in this you will get non-terminating repeating decimal say like 0 0.3 bar which means 0 0.33333 it goes on and on now before we start solving the questions you should know a few things here suppose you have a number which is 2.5678 now if we multiply this number multiply by 10 then it becomes equals to 2 multiplied by 10 point moves one digit to the right it will become 25.678 again if the same number is multiplied by 100 then the point moves two digit to the right it will become 256 0.78 similarly if you multiply by 1000 it will become 2567.8 and so on now these are the basics which you have learned in previous junior class now suppose the question here is represent in the form of v by q and you have a number 0 0.3 bar now for solving this question this whatever the question is call it as x let x equals to 0 0.3 3 instead of writing bar we can write 3 3 3 3 as many times as you want it goes on and on now here two things you need to remember we are going to make equation from this number now e first equation one will be having decimal before before repeating number And in equation 2, we will have decimal after repeating number. This we need to make by ourselves. We will make two equations from this. The first equation will have decimal before the repeating number, immediately before the repeating number. And in second equation, we will have decimal just after the repeating number. Here, you have 
decimal just before the, re the repeating number is 3 and we have decimal just before the repeating number so we can call it as equation 1 so x equals to 0 0.3333 dot 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 as many threes you want this is equation 1 now in equation 2 we want a decimal after the repeating number the repeating number here is 3 and we want a decimal after 3 after 3 if we want we want to move it to one digit to the right so we need to multiply with 10 if we multiply with 10 x will become 10x and if you multiply with 10 it will become 3.3333 as many threes you want you can write down this becomes equation 2 now once we make equation 1 and equation 2 we are simply going to subtract them now equation 2 the greater one is equation 2 equation 2 minus equation 1 equation 2 is 10x equals to 3.3333 and goes on equation 1 is x equals to 0 0.333 3 now we will subtract them 3 minus 3 is 0 3 3 3 3 minus 3 3 3 3 will be 0 and after point if we have 0 makes no sense writing it now 3 minus 0 will give you 3 equals to 10x minus x will give you 9x only x will be equal to 3 comes down here 9 is multiplied if you flip it to the other side it goes there as divide both the numbers are divisible by 3 so we can cancel them 3 ones are 3 3 threes are 9 x equals to 1 by 3 this becomes the answer and it is in the form of p by q as asked in the question now one more question you see now suppose the question is represent 0 0.23 bar in the form of p by q the same question which we did earlier but a different number now here just call it as x let x equals to 0 0.23 bar be very careful with the bar the bar is only for 3 and not for 2 so only 3 is repeated instead of writing 3 bar we can write it as 3 3 3 3 dot 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 now remember the two equations equation 1 and equation 2 in equation 1 we should have decimal before the repeating number and in equation 2 we should have decimal after the repeating number which is the repeating number here 3 3 3 3 is repeated do we have decimal immediately before the repeating number no we have to take it here so if you want to take the decimal before the repeating number we need to multiply with 10 if you multiply it with 10 you'll get 2.3333 it goes on and this side we are multiplying with 10 it will become 10x this is equation 1 we have decimal before the repeating number but in equation 2 we need decimal after the repeating number the repeating number is 3 we want it after the repeating number so we want to move it two digit if we want to move two digit you have to multiply with 100 it will become 100 x and this will become 23.3333 dot 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 it goes on and this one becomes equation 2 now after we get equation 1 and equation 2 we can simply multi subtract them equation 2 minus 1 2 is greater so this is 100 x equals to 23.3333 and equation 1 is 10 x equals to 2.33 3 3 now if we subtract 3 3 3 3 3 minus 3 3 3 3, 3, 3 will become 0 no need to write now 3 minus 2 will give you 1 and 2 minus nothing will give you 2 equals to 100 x minus 10 x will give you 90 x only x will be equals to 21 divided by 90 both the numbers are divisible by 3 7 are 21 3 3 are 9 and 0 30 and 7 cannot be cancelled so x equals to 7 by 30 and this is in the form of p by q this becomes the answer